Welcome to Your Daily Dose, a devotion ministry of the Faith Baptist Church of Franklin and Middletown, Ohio. Thanks for joining us each weekday as we share God's Word with you. It's your daily prescription for all that ails you. And now, Your Daily Dose. Well, good morning, everybody. Matt Hinkle here with Your Daily Dose for today. It's a joy to be with you. Daily Dose is a daily devotional ministry of the Faith Baptist Church. And uh, my name is Matt Hinkle. I'm the pastor here, and uh, it's always a joy to be with you. Uh, I don't take that for granted, that you would take a little bit of time out of your day to spend it with us. Uh, It means a lot, and I always appreciate it. Well, uh, we've been in Mission Conference this past week, and um, uh, still kind of have a lot of those kind of things on my mind. And I want to share with you uh, a a scripture that, uh, that... really is important every day, not just during missions conference, but around missions conference, I always think a lot about this verse. It's in Mark 16, 15. Mark 16, 15, some of the last words Jesus would say to his disciples before returning to the Father, going back to heaven. It says, and he said unto them, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Many of you know I went to Tennessee Temple University for my ministry training, and uh, what a joy that was. I I so treasure uh, those days there at Tennessee Temple. My wife and I were both students there. I was in the pastoral program, and she was in the sign language program, and we just, uh, uh, we wouldn't trade those years for anything in the world. And uh, when I was there, Dr. Robertson was still there. He was uh, he was still alive and still coming into the office every day. In fact, I'm in my office right now. Let me just show you something real quick. Um, <clears throat> sorry to move the camera a little bit on you, but uh, right here on my wall, I don't think know if you can see it very well at all, but those are handwritten sermon notes uh, by Dr. Robertson. And uh, he was the <clears throat> founder of Tennessee Temple and longtime president of Tennessee Temple. And uh, he was there while we were there as students, and and I had the privilege of meeting him. And uh, in fact, the church that I pastored down there, he came and and preached there one Sunday for us. And so I just uh, he's he's one of my heroes as far as earthly men go. And uh, he's home with the Lord now, but uh, he made a great impact on me, and uh, I just appreciate so much his ministry. But uh, when, when Dr. Robertson was there, uh, he, he had this sign on the back of the auditorium uh, up on the wall, and it said, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And so every time we came through the doors, we saw that sign. And uh, it was just a great reminder of the Great Commission. You know, Jesus' uh, uh, last words are important. And the last things that Jesus said before he went back to heaven is go win the lost, uh, help them to follow the Lord in baptism, get in church, and uh, become followers, become disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. And really, that's our entire ministry. That's our entire calling here at Faith Baptist Church. And so I hope you've been challenged by that this week. I hope that you've been stirred if you've been unable to attend in person for some reason, uh, these will all be available on the internet. Uh, Brother Rick Groover did a great job preaching the sermons. I would challenge you to go back and, even if you were here, go back and watch them again. I'm sure you'll pick up on things that you missed. Um, But we've been challenged this week. Friend, listen, there are seven billion plus people on earth. Um, Brother Rick said this week, two billion have never heard the name Jesus. And I, that's really hit me hard this week, that um, in this day and age, with all the technology and with the ease of travel, and I know we've been in a pandemic and travel's been a little tricky in the last year, but we live in a day and age where travel is so easy uh, compared to what it was in New Testament times. And uh, we have so many advantages with technology. And uh, here, here in the United States, we certainly have the resources to get the job done. And really, it's an indictment on the church that two billion people plus still have never heard. And so I want to just uh, leave you with the thought this this morning that uh, would you consider 
if you're if you're not already uh, you know if, if you're not already involved in missions, get involved in missions. Faith Baptist Church has a missions program, uh, and you can be involved in it. You can you can pray and give, and and know our missionaries and be involved in planning churches and getting the gospel around the world. And uh, you can be involved in that. You can have personal involvement in that. And then I would encourage you to uh, have personal involvement by going to people around you, not just sending your dollars to send missionaries or giving your dollars to send missionaries around the world, but but give a track to that person that, that waited on you at the restaurant or that person that changed your oil or, or, or your neighbor or a coworker or a friend or somebody you go to school with. Listen, there's nobody is off limits. We should be busy about getting the gospel out to the lost, both here and abroad. And God will bless you for that. And so that's my challenge for you today. Today is a new day. And uh, set for yourself a goal. You know, we, we read a verse like Mark 16, 15, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And that's such a tall order and it seems impossible, but it starts by just reaching out to those around you. That's where it begins. And so may it begin with us. Uh, I'm really going to try to improve in this area this year. Not that I'm not doing it already, but <clears throat> really God spoke to my heart this, this week about being conscious and aware of the souls that are around me. And so I hope you'll join me in that. And, uh, and let's make this a great year so that when we get to missions conference next year, we can look back over this year and say, look what God did and look how we grew in this matter of global missions. And uh, so that's what I want to leave you with today. I hope this has been a help to you and a blessing in some way. We're going to close with a word of prayer at this time. Our Heavenly Father, we love you today and we thank you for the word of God and for the work of God. And Lord, I'm thankful that the gospel made it as far as me and my family. But Lord, I pray that we wouldn't stop it with us, but I pray that we would further it, that we would send it on ahead uh, so that it might go farther even than it has before. And Lord, we'll give you the glory, honor, and praise for it all. I thank you for the missionaries that we've been with this week, this past week. And I thank you for Brother Groover coming and preaching to us. And Lord, now as the missions conference is, is over, it's been over for a few days, uh, I just pray that, uh, Lord, you would just continue to impress upon our hearts the, the need of the world. And uh, we'll thank you for it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for being with me today. I hope it's been a help to you. And we'll see you next time. God bless you. Bye-bye. This has been your Daily Dose, a ministry of Faith Baptist Church. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today and click the bell next to the button to sign up for email notifications each time we live stream or release a new video. To learn more about faith, please visit our website, fitinatfaith.com, for more information about our church. Have a great day in the Lord.